Hello and welcome back to my channel. It has been two weeks since I've sat down and filmed a video. It feels like it's been much, much longer. This feels quite weird. So if this video becomes a little bit awkward, apologies. I hope y'all get back into the swing of things very, very soon. As you will notice from behind me, I have my house now. This will not stay like this. I'm going to decorate it. Hopefully within the next couple of weeks. I think I might vlog it a little bit. If you'd like that, give this video a thumbs up. If not, I'll just do like a room tour at the end because I really like watching room tours, so why not do it myself? As this is the first video back on Proof of Beauty for 2015, I thought I would do like a, a roundup of my favourite products from 2014. I know there's been a lot of these videos um, on YouTube at the moment, so I thought it was a perfect one for me to come back with. So I've collected up a few things. It's taken me ages to find them, by the way. Everything is still in boxes. It looks kind of tidy behind me, but I have a big fitted wardrobe in my room and it's currently just full of boxes with rubbish in and things that I need to go through and have a good clear out. So yeah, it's taken me a very long time to find them but I have now <laughs> I've kind of categorised it so I've got hair and I've got like face but I will just get straight into it first thing I'll pick up because it's the biggest it's the Batiste Dry Shampoo the XXL Volume 1 you will have seen a lot of these products before because I use them a lot so that's why they're my favourites for 2014 but yeah this dry shampoo has been my best friend for bad hair days I don't use it as such I've said before I don't use it as a dry shampoo so when you have Third, second day or third day hair just to use it while your hair's down. I don't find it works very well as that, but for an updo, it is perfect. There's so much texture in this dry shampoo that just helps your hair stay in place. Not the nicest feeling on your head, but this really is one of my best friends. And when this runs out, I have to run to the shops to make sure I can get another one ready for when I need it next. My Tango Teaser. These have been around for a while, but it was 2014 that I started to use mine and it has been a godsend since I got it. I have very thin hair, very fine hair, and because of my illness, it falls out quite easily. So a normal brush or like a comb really doesn't help that. It pulls it out with it, it makes it really knotty, it doesn't go through wet hair very well. But this beauty right here, absolutely amazing, just glides through wet hair, gets the knots out so easily. It gives, I think it helps give my hair volume as well, so when it's dry. Also, it doesn't frizz my hair up after I've um, styled it. I like to brush through it, and sometimes normal brushes can make it go a bit puffy. This doesn't, this literally just makes it look silky and smooth, and it's such a nice size to just throw in the bag. This is definitely an essential for me every day, and has to be in my favourites for 2014. We'll stick on the tools, kind of tools, maybe that's not the right word. We'll stick with brushes, um, but these are face brushes. These are the only ones I've managed to find because they're the only ones I've been using at the moment. Um, but that, but the, the, the Real Techniques brushes have literally been one of my favourite things to use throughout 2014 to apply my makeup. They're so soft and they're just, ooh, I just love them. I really like the finish that this gives my makeup and I don't really know what to say, I just really, really like them. And I'm so excited at the fact that they, that Real Techniques have just launched a new like a new range of um, makeup brushes. They have said they're more aimed towards like the expert, which I am not, but everyone likes to have a nice expensive pair of makeup brushes, don't they? So I am definitely gonna be grabbing those when they come out. So now the original line is always out on my dressing table, always in the makeup brushes. This one I throw in my bag. This one is the setting brush. I throw this one in my bag along with um, like a face powder and I just use it to dab onto my eyes, down my nose, on my chin, on my forehead just to hide those little greasy bits or the areas where makeup can sometimes fall off or wear off throughout the day. If I had to narrow it down, it would be the setting brush or the expert face brush, which I also really, really love. Sticking with Real Techniques, this is a new one for me this year, so something that I found towards the end of the year and it is their Beauty Blender. I now only use this to apply my foundation or BB creams or whatever I use that day. This is all I use. I make it wet, which in my, um, I did a video where I showed you how I used it. I didn't use it wet then. I didn't really like how it applied, but I have started using it wet. I found using it wet has given me a bit more of an even coverage, a bit smoother with using it dry. It did leave it a little bit like streaky. I had to kind of blend it out a little bit with my powder brush as well, um, but using it wet, Perfect application, perfect blending, love it. 
Okay, so on to actual products, like makeup products. The first thing, again, was something that I discovered later on in the year, and it's the Estee Lauder Double Wear All Day Glow BB Cream. I now use this every day. I don't like high coverage makeup. I don't like thick foundations. I don't like how they feel on my skin. This gives such a lovely coverage, but it's not really thick on the skin, so you don't really know that you're wearing it which I really, really love. It's a perfect skin match for me, which I find really hard. With pale skin, it's hard to find a perfect match for foundation or a BB cream, but this is perfect. This one is in intensity one, but this also has SPF 30 in it, which is really high for a foundation or BB cream, I think. All the other ones that I've seen have always been 15 or 20. I've never seen a 30, but this one is 30. And two lipsticks. My two favourites this year have obviously been Faux, which I have loved forever ever since I got it. This was the first MAC lipstick I ever got, actually. Um, and then my favourite bright lipstick is another MAC, Girl About Town Bright Fuchsia. Again, actually the first bright lipstick I ever bought. I was very afraid of red. For some reason I was drawn towards a fuchsia pink. I don't know why. But I absolutely love that lipstick and it stays on all day throughout everything, eating, drinking, talking, everything. And it's such a flattering colour for my skin as well, which I find really hard. Girl About Town is just perfect. And to eye products, this is not going to come as a surprise at all, but it is the Urban Decay Basics palette. My boyfriend bought me the first palette and as you can see, I have used it a lot. These two being my favourite colours. Obviously, and then I was lucky enough to get given the Naked 2 Basics palette for Christmas and the colours in this are absolutely beautiful and I'm already in love with it. <sighs> I'll show you both together. So this one's like slightly darker colours, whereas these ones are quite, they're a lot brighter. But I just find these are a lot better for me. I'm not really the kind of girl who uses a lot of bright colours, so I didn't really want to spend the money on their big um, naked palettes, because I just didn't think I'd get the use out of them. But those two have been absolutely perfect for me throughout 2014. I hope you all had a fantastic Christmas and a wonderful new year. Please stay tuned and subscribe to Polly Pocket Beauty. Hopefully 2015 is going to bring lots of exciting things things. I am off to Harry Potter Studios on Thursday so I'm hoping to vlog that for you and hopefully a lot more things will happen. So subscribe so you don't miss any of that and I'll see you next time.